Good Tuesday. I'm glad you have decided to join us today. And I hope that uh, you are having a great day. Now, don't forget, you've only had one day that you've used out of this week. You've got a, a whole rest of the week in front of you. How are you going to let God use you and your talents and growing them into gifts? Hey, sometimes you understand. Sometimes you don't even have a talent for it and God gives you a gift for it. I don't know. That's the way the Holy Spirit works. All right. We're going to be in Mark 8, 48 through 49. And seeing them straining at the oars, for the wind was against them, at about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. And he intended to pass them by. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed he was a ghost and cried out. <laughs> you know, when it comes to gifts and it comes to uh, recognizing what God's doing in our lives, I think the most important thing is to recognize when God's intervening in our lives. And, you know, they said they thought he was a ghost. They thought he was, uh, you know, they knew he was supernatural because he was walking out across the, the, the water. But they saw him and saw Jesus and took him for something he wasn't. And that is so easy for us to do, especially in the time of strain, especially in the time of, uh, of, of life that is just uh, very, very hard. And so food for thought this Tuesday. I do not know about you, but I need to be reminded that my Lord is always watching me with caring eyes and heart. His timing for stepping in to rescue me has always been perfect. And that's one of the most wonderful gifts there are from the Holy Spirit. Is first off, knowing that God's watching us. Secondly, recognizing Jesus when he comes into our lives and when he walks across the water into our lives, especially when they're stormy waters. You've got to be able to recognize him for who he is. You've got to recognize Jesus when he's walking on the lives of uh, on the waters of the storms in your life. All of us have times that are very trying and very hard, and we're always having those times when we are straining at the at the oars. You know, uh, a preacher that uh, that was here before I was, Albert Green. One of the things that I saw uh, he had uh, put. Uh, now it's one of his sermons that I just happened to uh, uh, pick up uh, uh, that he left behind was that you're either coming out of a storm or going into a storm. And I think that's probably right. Sometimes it seems that the very stroke uh, with the oars in the boat of life is straining and driving us back. For every stroke we take, we go back to. You ever felt that way? Sort of like the harder you run, the behinder you get. And I think we all have those moments. And seeing them straining at the oars, for this wind was against them, I find it so easy to look at the wind and waves around me and forget in whose hands I am in. The one whose very words control the winds of both nature and spirit. He controls the natural and the supernatural. If you remember the story, they're straining at the oars. And they're trying to get across. And Jesus is getting them across. I think that's something we need to see. Jesus put them in the boat and told them to cross the, the sea. And as they did, a storm came up. And as they're straining and they're straining and they're concentrating on what they're doing and they're trying to keep the boat from capsizing and trying to keep, make headway to go uh, across uh, to the shore, <clears throat> Jesus shows up and they're so busy with uh, the, the storm of, that they don't recognize who Jesus is. Don't get so involved in the storms of life, that you forget to keep your eyes peeled for Jesus. And do not forget for one second, your God is watching you and he cares for you. My beloved, when our Lord does not step out in our lives, let us make sure we understand his timing's perfect. And when he does intervene, let us recognize him. And when they saw him walking on the sea, they supposed that he was a ghost. And they cried out. When they trust in him, the waters were calmed. But his time is always perfect, and he always knows when we're struggling and when we're in trouble. Even when we don't think he's watching, he's watching. What does it say? And seeing them straining at the oars, he knew exactly what was going on. 
He knows you're straining. Hold out. He'll come. He'll be there. Look for him. Take your eyes off your situation and elevate them to see him. Your gracious Heavenly Father, we have so many going through storms right now. Our nation is going through a storm. Lord, please let our nation recognize you and your intervention and your love and your care. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.